Hello Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Thank you for tuning back into my channel. Really appreciate you being here with me. Um, this is going to be a tarot reading, having a look at who is a person that's going to change your life. So um, this is going to be a love reading focused on that person and that energy and we'll see what we can learn about them. Okay, anything that comes up in the cards that can give us some hints as to who this person may be um, and this person is going to change your life in love um, so we'll lay out a few cards here and see what comes up um, please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel that would be very much appreciated um, i really do love that you guys tune in and um, hopefully there's something here for you air signs so gemini libra aquarius the one that will change your life Okay, so very strong karmic connection. So it's almost like you guys have a karmic history together. Okay, so this could be like past life connections. It could even be an ex that's coming back into the picture here. Um, and it's a long distance kind of love or this love has traveled. This person has traveled a far distance to get to you. So, okay, so straight away, this is quite exciting because I feel like what, what the cards are trying to tell us is that there is a long distance relationship. Um, potentially that's destined for you and this is the relationship that's going to change your life change the way you think about love um, and all those sorts of things it's a karmic connection with someone very beautiful they're coming up as the beauty queen okay so they're very attractive um, conventionally handsome conventionally um, beautiful so we've got this this beautiful energy here okay so it's someone with a very fun and vibrant energy great you're going to get on absolutely so well with this person they could be um, in like the beauty industry, I feel like um, they attract a lot of attention where they go, but they could also be someone who is um, in some sort of industry where they need to present themselves well, um, or it could just be like they're immaculately presented here. Um, but they're social, they're engaging, they're beautiful, and I feel this connection is you're going to have a really strong chemistry, really strong attraction to this person um, is actually what I'm seeing uh, air signs so how beautiful is that it is a karmic connection though so it needs to happen uh, I feel like at some time or another you might be separated with this person by distance so you guys could be doing a long distance thing different cities states countries counties you know there is uh, I feel like there is some sort of distance that's created here I mean it could also be that um, you have to travel to get to this person Okay, it could be that travel is required to meet them. Uh, either you on travels, them on travels, maybe the both of you. This is what's sort of required um, for the two of you to connect and meet. It's like it's a long distance to go. It could still be in the distant future though. Uh, but the doors are opening up to that karmic energy. So karmic connection, karmic love. It's a love that needs to happen, but it's also a love that's going to have a few lessons uh, or this person has things to teach you. Uh, and it could be about your beauty, okay? It could be exterior beauty or it could be inner beauty as well. So we've got some lessons here in maybe insecurities and anxieties. And I feel like this person is coming in to teach you about yourself. Maybe to show you the anxieties, the insecurities you have. Maybe to um, work through them with you, work through them together. You know, that could be a supportive um a supportive sense to this person in regards to what what they're coming in and doing here for you okay so unsurprisingly we've got that three of wands again I really feel like this person is at a distance to you and this is someone who you'll probably marry okay we've got the marriage card could be a Taurus that's come up here we've got the moon so it could be a cancer you might end up marrying this person. This person's going to change your life through marriage. Marriage and commitments coming up with the Hierophant. I feel like with the Two of Swords, it's like it's someone you've rejected or you've been apart from. So it could be like there's pain. Maybe you guys have blocked each other. You've sort of exited each other's lives. You don't really 
know what's going on with this other person. It's someone you could be familiar with, like you do share a past. Like I said, if it's not an ex, it's someone that maybe you had a past life connection with, if you believe in those sorts of things. Obviously, if that's the case, we're looking at a twin flame here, air signs. But again, that long distance card of three of wands, this is the long-term future here. So this person is going to have a huge impact in your life. But I feel like they're at a distance still or they're in the future here for you. They're still, they still have to show up in your life or, or, or show up in your life again if this is like an ex-partner. But the Two of Swords is like you won't see it coming and you possibly never consider this person to be this one that you're going to marry or that you're going to have that kind of relationship with. You possibly didn't think of them in this light. But either way, they've come up. Uh, and the Hierophant, I really feel like this person is somehow going to change your status in the world. Now, some of you may take this person's last name. Uh, some of you might go into business with this person. This person might motivate you to do something creatively or professionally. But somehow they're going to change your status. I think it's more in relation to love, but it could be more than just that for some of you. It could be, like I said, this person elevating you or changing a title, a role, or even like how you see yourself professionally. They're going to have something to do with you going into a new industry, picking up a new hobby, trying things on the other side, you know, trying things that you didn't think possible. And I think you're in for a lot of surprises with this person. Because you have that blindfold on with the Two of Swords. You won't see it coming and it could be very unexpected. Uh, but it'll change your life and it will definitely change how you see things uh, in, in the future together. So that's really beautiful. It's a destined connection. We've got the star. You could meet them online. Or it could be someone you know online, it could even be a celebrity, someone to, who you've connected with online through a dating app, social media. Uh, maybe you've spotted them from afar, they're a minor or a major celebrity even. A star card does speak about destiny, it could be an Aquarius here. Uh, but they're also going to heal you. So they're going to love you and they're going to heal you. They're going to try to help you through some of those anxieties and issues and trauma that you've had in your life up until now. So they're going to be there by your side. Uh, they'll, they'll notice your flaws, but they'll try to help you overcome them. So you obviously have someone who's quite supportive. This person could be younger as well. We've got the page. They're coming up as the page and the Hierophant. So they're younger, but they've got a lot of wisdom. Or it could be that they're older, but they have a youthful spirit. So either way. Um, but there's a, a like an inexperienced energy with the page, yet a really, really wise and mature energy with the Hierophant. Maybe you're going to be the page and they're the Hierophant or they're the Hierophant and you're the page. Um, again, obviously, if there's an age difference here, an age gap, um, maybe this is what's coming up. But I think it's someone who's going to put you on a pedestal. Look how beautifully the Page of Pentacles is holding that pentacle. It's like they're going to know you're really, really precious, that you need looking after, um, that there is a softer side to you. There is a side to you that you don't always let everyone see, um, but you'll let this person in and you'll show them that, that, that side to you that maybe you don't normally show everyone else. And then I feel like that's just going to make them super caring and they'll just want to love and nurture you and look after you. And, and they'll be very proud. Okay, I get like proud um, to show you off to introduce you to their family, their friends. It's 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 a beautiful energy. It's like, hey, look at me, look at what I have. And in a way, I feel like that page of pentacles is like, I'm lucky. So they'll feel very lucky to have you. Um, you know, so that's, that's, that's very beautiful here, um, air signs. Thank you again for tuning in. I'll finish up the reading there. If you'd like a private reading, please feel free to reach out. Um, otherwise, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Uh, that'll mean a lot. Um, so appreciate you being here and joining the YouTube family. It really does mean a lot. Thank you so much for all your support. 
and please be in touch if you would like that uh, personalized reading otherwise thank you again and i'm sure uh, we'll be in touch very soon so bye for now everyone